have determined the origin of Venus from Willendorf. Venus of Willendorf is probably one of the most famous examples of early European art. She was sculpted about 30,000 years ago from a rock called Oolite. It was found in 1908 in Austria, near Willendorf. However, it is difficult to find Oolite around this one town. With state-of-the-art techniques, scientists have been able to ascertain the where did the material from which the figurine was made come from? A team of scientists led by anthropologist Gerhard Weber from the University of Vienna, two geologists Alexander Lukander and Matthias Harshauser and prehistory specialist Walperga Antelweiser from the Museum Natural History in Vienna. You will carefully look at the famous Venus C. Willendorf. Using cutting-edge research techniques, scientists they determined that the rock from which the figurine was made came from hundreds kilometers from where it was found in 1908. The description of the research and the conclusions drawn from it were published in writing scientific reports. Nearly 11 centimeters Venus figurine from Willendorf carved by a Paleolithic sculptor 30,000 years ago. Years ago, it is unique in many ways. It is one of the most important examples of early art in Europe. He has no feet or face. However, the author highlighted the features that anthropologists usually associate breasts with female fertility abdomen and thighs. The head, on the other hand, covered with an elaborate headdress or dense, curly hair, covering facial features. Abundant shapes of women among many traditional communities are primordial people considered a canon of beauty, which has been confirmed by research anthropogenic. But in prehistoric times they must have been rare and to be considered something extraordinary. Today we consider such abundant shapes to be obesity, however, in the ancient past they testified to wealth, high position, and fertility, obviously. Other, similar examples of art related to the Grey Bataillon culture, the Venus of Willendorf is also included in it, carved from bone animal, most often ivory. There are also examples of figurines from stone. However, the Venus of Willendorf was created from a different material, the green name it refers to the place where it was found. But the material from which it was established and is not located in this area. The statue was made of oolite sedimentary rock that forms in shallow seas in the coastal zone. New research sheds a little more light on mobility the first modern people living in the Stone Age in this part of Europe. Microtomography used by a group of scientists the computer allowed us to obtain images of the internal structure of the sculpture from resolution up to 11.5 micrometers. The paintings showed that the figurine is not uniform. The material has different densities and numerous inclusions, small pieces of shell dated to Jurassic period and grains of iron oxides and hydroxides called limonites. The admixtures discovered in the material meant you could try match the rock to oolite samples collected elsewhere to narrow a place where the rock could have come from. Geologists participating in the research, who had previously worked with oolites, they obtained comparative samples from all over Europe. These were cut into tiny slices and carefully examined. Research has shown that within a radius of 200 kilometers from Willendorf has no similar rocks. Very good fit, so close that the rock is almost indistinguishable, it came from Lake Lago de Garda in northern Italy. This would mean that the figurine, or at least the material, with of which it was established, she traveled with her owner from south to north by house route that would be approximately 730 kilometers long on a mountainous one region. People from the Gravitayan culture sought and inhabited favorable areas for them. When the climate or situation related to with the availability of prey, they moved further, usually along rivers. 
Taka the journey could have taken generations explains Weber. Researchers in the simulations determined two possible routes. One of they would lead east around the Alps through the Pannonian Basin. The second is the road directly through the Alps. However, it is not clear whether it was possible for 30,000 years. Here's this, especially since the climate deteriorated during this period. If in those there was a glacier there at times, it would be unlikely variant. However, the 730 km path along the Adige, Inn, and Danube rivers always it lies below 1,000 meters above sea level, except for 35 kilometers above Lake Riskin. Geologists also identified a second, probable site the origin of the oolite from which Venus of Willendorf was created. Located even further than Lake Lago de Garda. We are talking about eastern Ukraine, namely about 1,600 kilometers from Willendorf. The fit is no longer as good as in, in the case of an Italian lake, but better than in the case of other respondents' samples. Scholars point out that this possibility cannot be ruled out. <laughs>